My name is Ailsa Black and I'm a painter and illustrator living in South West Scotland and I work um, mainly in acrylic paints on a canvas board. I tend to work in quite bold, simple colours with a kind of light-hearted uh, feel to my work which has a touch of um, quirkiness about it. I mainly feature people and animals. For the last few years I've taken part in the Spring Fling Open Studios in Dupreeson Gallery and the Open Studios is an event where artists open up their workspace and the general public have the opportunity over a few days over a weekend to come and see the artists in their working environment and to see their work and to purchase work for, from them. And as part of the Spring Fling event there's always a poster that is used to promote it and um, that's what we're going to be working on, developing a poster for the Spring Fling. Posters are still a very important advertising medium and uh, generally in a poster you want the image to be fairly eye-catching, you want it to be fairly bold and uh, you want it to be able to convey a message about the whatever it is that you're trying to promote within within the poster. So the theme for the poster is what does Dumfries and Galloway mean to me? Well for me living in Dumfries and Galloway is all about living in a rural environment and the people and the animals that surround us and so when I started looking at the brief and the photographs that we were provided with um, I started to think about the the animals and the, the people that we might see if we're going around an open studio, what types of different things might they be doing, what type of uh, an environment might they be doing it in, what type of impression am I trying to put across in the, the images that I'm creating. So what I did was I just started to just jot down words, just have a bit of a brainstorm. What does Dumfries and Galloway mean to me? It means um, people, it means animals, it means belted Galloway cows, hills, fields, sheep. Um, and I've just really jotted down a whole list of different ideas. And then from that, I've started to pick out some images which I think would work well visually. The size requirements for the poster are that it's an A3 poster with a seven centimetre bar along the bottom which is left free for text. So obviously at this stage you probably want to be thinking about what materials you're going to use to make your poster. There's a wide range of materials available. Obviously the poster is going to end up as a two-dimensional image but that doesn't mean that it um, that the process excludes three-dimensional work at this moment so it could you could have collage in there, pieces stuck down on paper, you could have pen, ink, paint, um, pencil, any type of um, medium really that which will help you put together uh, an image of a reasonable size. For this brief I've chosen to work in a mixture of pastels, pencils and, um, and coloured pencils and uh, that was because I, I wanted to keep the image quite simple and I wanted the colours to be quite bright and I thought it fitted well with this particular brief. So as part of my research for this brief I might consider using a sketchbook and go out and gather some ideas and try out some different images and uh, see how they work. These are all designs that I've put together and I've looked at and then I've gone on to refine and I've ruled out certain ideas because they weren't so good and so eventually I'm coming to a stage where I have an image which I feel is strong enough to work on its own as a design for a poster. So the next stage is to take your finished sketch and scale it up onto an A3 page and remember to leave a 7cm bar along the bottom. And remember that you want your image to really fill the remaining space on, on the A3 poster and you don't want a lot of white space round about. So I've just really started to sketch that out and um, remember you can use all your 
photo references there. Um, I quite liked one of the photographs had a potter on it making a pot and so I've decided to include that in my final image. So I've chosen to use uh, a base layer of pastels and in a moment I'm going to put on a layer of light paint to work into the image but you could get a similar effect using wax crayons and a, a light uh, water-based paint or you could use poster paint or you could use collage or any materials that you have available to you. Having put a thin layer of water-based uh, paint on I'm just rubbing it off because I'm going to go into it later on and work into it with some pencil and I don't want too thick a layer of oil pastel and also it means you start to see the different layers of colour coming through underneath. I try to add a touch of light-heartedness to my work um, I think it helps draw people into the image and uh, people generally relate very positively to images which give them some enjoyment. So just to recap, we started by having a brainstorming session, we gathered all the reference material together that we wanted, we started to work out some sketches and some ideas on paper and then we looked at a final sketch which we then worked into a finished sketch on the, the size of the poster that we wanted and then eventually came to doing the finished poster. And here's my finished poster and as you can see I've just carried on working into it with the coloured pencil, the graphite pencil, just to add a bit more detail. I hope you found this useful and that you're able to employ some of the skills and uh, processes that we've looked at whilst doing this poster brief.